Hey, this is Mikey Borup, and I'm here with a quick update. I'm not showing off a new preset, but really more of just an update to an old preset. What I want to show off is my new version of my vignette preset. Now let me show you the old one. Here is some footage, and let me take my vignette, and I will just drag and drop it on. And you can see the vignette is there, but what I updated was this over here. You can see all of this is very kind of complicated and there's a, it's really kind of disorganized. So I'm going to undo that and let me apply my new custom vignette. I call it Mikey's custom vignette because I'm using I'm using a custom controller. And you can see I got this error here and that's totally normal. That's because I don't have the custom controller installed but it's still going to work. That's the beauty of this. You don't need to have it installed. It's just going to give you this one little error and I click OK and then instantly you can see this is a lot more organized. Let me kind of collapse these here. And what it did was it took all of those controllers and it turned it into one controller. So I have all of the same functionality where I can change the radius, the feather, change the color, the opacity, And then XY scale, I can drill into this menu. I can scale that that way or that way. Let's bring this feather down so it's easier to see. Up or down. And then right here, the transfer mode, I can change the transfer mode to screen which in certain cases if you want to do like a white vignette you need to have it on screen because if it's not it's not going to show up so that is the new controller now if you want to install the controller you have to do a little bit of hacking um, it's really easy to do and I'm going to link you to a video that will show you how to do on both Windows and Mac and then in the description I'm going to include the code that you need to stick into the preset file that you need to, to edit and change. But if you don't, it doesn't matter. It's going to still say, it'll just say missing up here, but everything will work just the same. That's the only difference. And the other great thing about this is now using this custom controller, if you're using After Effects in a different language that's not English, then everything will still map to it just the same. It, before in the other one when you're using a different language it was looking for um, say some of these names that said feather or color or opacity even though they're named differently in a different language and so it's trying to look for that word and it wasn't there because it had been switched to a different word in a different language and everything was broken now with this new custom controller it doesn't do that so this is a universal one. The only little hiccup is it's going to say missing here when you import it if you don't adjust the file. And that's okay. It'll still work just the same. So just like the old preset, this one is still free. Um, it's donationware, so if you would like to donate, I suggest $1. Just click on the link that's here in this video, and it'll take you to where you can download this preset. Thanks.